Yesterday, San Francisco supervisors stopped business to share their heartfelt condolences and personal memories. Among them, Supervisor Katie Tang. I am so grateful uh, for this opportunity to be able to serve the city, and it really was because he gave me this opportunity. Um, sorry. <clears throat> and we, it's not until they're gone that you realize just how lucky you are to have such a genuine mayor. Um, who just listened to people from all different sides. That was Supervisor Katie Tang of District 4 last night at the Supervisors meeting, and she joins us here today in the studio to talk more about Edley. First of all, my condolences to you. Thank you for having me. Now, you found out early yesterday morning. Can you walk us through those first initial hours, those difficult first hours? Well, I can't imagine it was, uh, you know, any more difficult than what it was like for the family. But, um, you know, I think the supervisors received a text around midnight, maybe, and we thought that he was in stable condition. And uh, around 2 a.m., received a call from my colleague uh, delivering the news, saying that the mayor had passed away. And I just couldn't believe that what I heard. I mean, I'm still in disbelief. Right. There were no signs, nothing, right? So. No. I just saw him on Friday, and he was uh, really wonderful with the kids over at Sunset Elementary School, and uh, couldn't have predicted this. And we saw him at the recycling event. He was so energetic there, too. Well, since then, it's been definitely nonstop, despite this massive grief. Can you talk about what the energy and the mood is like at City Hall today? Uh, well, everywhere you go, um, you know, the people that you run into in city departments, they're in tears, everyone is hugging each other, um, because he was more than just a mayor to a lot of us. Um, you know, he was so down to earth and so genuine that a lot of people felt like he was their friend. And so uh, there, there's definitely a lot of tears being shed right now. Last night, you were talking about what he's meant to you. Um, some people may not remember, but Mayor Lee gave you your first big shot, right? You were he working did. for Carmen Chu. That's right. And he appointed you to fill her supervisor seat when she became assessor recorder. Can you talk about how he's mentored you and what that's meant to you? Well, back in 2013, um, he had this great opportunity to appoint someone to be the Sunset Supervisor. And um, I'm just really grateful that he saw opportunity in me and potential in me when I didn't really see it in myself. Um, and uh, he really took a risk on me as a 29-year-old to uh, become a member of the Board of Supervisors. So um, he really set a high example, a, a high bar, um, just by being himself in the role. Um, as someone who came through the ranks through all sorts of different city roles and city departments, um, he's, he's just not your typical politician. And everyone keeps saying that, and it really is so true. All right, Mayor Lee's final tweet, I want to show this to folks because it was about safe and fair housing. And that was one of his big, big priorities. Well, especially about tenant protections. And so uh, I thought it was so ironic that his the last tweet that came from his office was actually about helping tenants and ensuring that they're living in safe conditions. And certainly he made a career of that. Do you think his, his priorities life. will continue at City Hall? Do you see that changing? I, I certainly think that many of us, myself included, are very interested in continuing his legacy, uh, whether it's a about affordable housing or homelessness or public safety, um, I'm, I'm really committed to continuing the work that we had started together. All right, Supervisor Katie Tang, thank you so much for coming in and uh, please give our best and our condolences to the mayor's wife Anita and their two girls. Thank you so much.